Welcome at TaxCon 2012, right here in San Francisco. Um, I'm very happy to speak uh, to Rich Hickey. Welcome. Thanks. Uh, Rich did uh, a keynote and a session, and he also joined the Jack Speaker Summit the weekend before we started with the conference. Yes. Uh, Rich, you're working, besides we all know you as the author of Clojure, mm -hmm. uh, you're working on a database project. Tell us, what are you doing? Uh, it's called uh, Datomic, and uh, it's a new kind of database. It's oriented around the principles that I espoused in the keynote. Uh, it's a database of values, and uh, it stores facts, and it has uh, it sits in an interesting place in the NoSQL space in supporting both transactions and scalable reads. Do you share some principles with, with which one of the with one of the data stores out there which we know from the NoSQL field, or is it totally different? So the Datomic architecture is sort of the decomposition of a database, and one of the things that we do is we um, we use other storage systems the way traditional databases would use the disk. So we work on top of DynamoDB or on top of a SQL database, and we use that for storage. So more it's a, it's a data management system, well, we more, take, we more take management system than a storage system? Right, right. so we we're not very interested in storage, you know, and people are already choosing storage for other reasons, and we think that uh, the future is systems of systems, and so the systems we add to storage are the transactional system and the query system, um, as well as having a data model. Okay. So when you store it, when we store inside SQL or inside Dino, we don't use it for our data model at the final level. We store blocks of indexes in the storage. Right. Uh, maybe you can tell us a certain or typical use case when it makes value or really creates value to, to, to use a, a system like yours. So I, I think that the future is, is going to be oriented around systems that uh, maintain all of all of the information that a business encounters yeah. and keeps track of time. These are the ideas I talked about in the keynote. Yeah. Sort of a, 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 an information-oriented database should be a fact yeah. shaped database, and that's the way they talk about it. So, but obviously there are, there are um, businesses for whom that's an immediate need that every you know, a lot of people need to keep everything. Uh, med medical systems need to keep everything. A lot of accounting systems need to keep everything. And a lot of people want to keep everything because they can derive a lot of business value um, having all the old data with the time. So as you mentioned, your keynote, uh, in the keynote you, you spoke about the, 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 the principle of place-oriented yes. programming, where you could, maybe you could uh, explain it. Right, so place-oriented programming is the thing that I think we need to move away from. Yeah. Uh, and uh, a lot of our existing <laughs> languages and database systems have a place orientation. Um, and, and the easiest way to tell when you have a place orientation is when you get some new piece of information, is the whole one no longer available? Yeah. And does it replace it? And so uh, there's a sense in which object oriented languages work that way. And there's a sense in which traditional databases work that way. And I think moving forward, we have to recognize that those languages and database architectures were based upon having systems that were much, much, much smaller than the ones we have today. Yeah. Very little memory back then and very little storage. Now we have a lot of it. So throwing away information seems to be a bad bet for businesses. Uh, we think it's going to be generally appealing to businesses moving forward to keep all their information. So if we don't throw away information, mm -hmm. is it means information is getting more and more. Yes. That leads to something like big, big data. How does your concept relate to the to the concept of big data, which is at the moment in the in the high? I, I think um, it's related in one sense in that big data is fundamentally about sort of keeping everything, and, and especially most big data also has a temporal aspect to it. Where people are keeping the timestamps on their logs, for instance. Um, uh, on the other hand, I think that people shouldn't be afraid of keeping everything, creating an explosion of data. Yeah. If you think about it, most businesses, whatever size they are you know, today, next year they're only that plus you know, 10 percent that most yeah. businesses are not doubling every year. So yeah. they're, not, they're never going to overrun the growth of storage and memory. Yeah. It's their own growth, yeah. so they don't need to worry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so in which language did you write it? I wrote it in Clojure. Wow. But, okay. but, uh, but it is, uh, it's an interesting design in that it's, it's oriented towards JVM languages. Yeah. One of the other things that the re-architecting uh, 
uh, the database does is it actually puts query inside your application server. So now you can get scalability and distribution of query uh, because of that. And that means that any JVM language will have access to data as if it was in memory and a query engine in memory. Yeah. Yeah. In case we met anybody curious about that, where can people get more information? Datomic.com. Right. Thank you very much for sure. coming, Rich. Thanks for inviting me.